Hey, Deke. So I want to go check on the explosives to make sure, you know, the Rippers didn't steal them, and then I went to Schizo's cabin to check on the deck cords, but I should have just come straight here and saved some time. Get the hell out of here, Ricky. Okay. Guess you can go blow up that cave, right? I'll come with you. Ricky. When I was a kid, my dad found a rat's nest underneath one of our sheds. You want to know what he did? Can't even guess. Well, I waited till morning. They'd all be asleep. He laid a piece of plywood over the hole and told me to go get the garden hose. And he said to me, I never forget what he said to me. He said the best way to kill a rat's nest is to drown him. You can blow up the reservoir above the camp? Oh, that's an idea. Deacon, you can't. They want to rest in De peace. I'm going to help them out. Deacon, you can't do that. Why is that? Because Iron Mike? This is some fucking treaty. You know, I want to cut Schizo's throat, but he's right about one thing. Carlos ain't going to stop. Rippers ain't going to stop. And you know it. Are you sure this isn't personal? Fuck yeah, it's personal. Yeah, it's fucking personal. Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there and ask him if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing them the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Schizo's rifle and keep them off me while I set the charges. Oh, hold, hold on. Look, I got this. I'm not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We're doing this? Yeah. All right. Let's get it. See the second set of scaffolding on top of the dam? Yeah, I see it. Heading over. Okay, what do you say? I do my job and you do yours. Hey, I got this. You just get the charges planted. Already. <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? This guy's an idiot. I don't know if that's enough. Let's go find Jesse. I mean, I probably killed a few of them, but I don't think that's. I don't know, bro. Here, 
here. No. I'll boost you up. Okay, listen. If something happens to me, there's a trail not far from here. You no, 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 no. Listen, that's not Carlos up there, okay? Not this founder, rest in peace. It's fucking Jesse Williamson. Fucking low life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming to him. All right. Now you fucking go up there and kill that son of a bitch. Is there? such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. It's either us or them. It's always us or them. Always. Yeah. You know the reason we're going to hell is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us. All right, you That's know what? That's not the case, brother, man. You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Wishing that it was something else ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Wishing ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is. What part of people ripping up flesh do. and fucking burning people, leaving them, breaking their legs, leaving All them for hordes? Us. What part of that makes you think that's us? Like, I'm with you, like, 95%, but that go. last little 5%. You what now? Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him you go. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Mike. If I see him, I'm giving him 23 yeah. from this boot knife. I stopped another killing. And you know what? I guess I'm good with that. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. Hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say. I'm just here you to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to make. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, I, Jim. Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. 
He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that. It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim. She's Keep driving. It. Oh. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Look, Addy, I'm sorry. Whatever. Addy, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John. Oh. I didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you there was Shut up, shut up, do. shut up. Listen to me. <laughs> Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. I so don't think that just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research, pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. We gotta visit her grave. We said we weren't gonna do it again. You know what? You know what Boozer's gonna say? He's gonna call and he's gonna say, Deke, where are you? And you're gonna say, ah, I'm. I'm up north. Just you know. Just hey, right there. No gas. Deacon St. John, come in. Damn, they all need you my help. Guys, chill. Hey, I'm out talk. here visiting uh, my dead wife, okay. bro. Okay, I'll swing by. Deacon out. Deacon out. Don't call me. Turns out, Carlos is actually this two-bit hood we knew from before. Back in the day, he was a fully patched member of the MC. Yeah, I know. What are the odds of him surviving? Jesse goddamn Williamson when so many others died. And uh, I never told you what happened to Jesse. Uh, well, you know, because you hate it when I talk about club shit. So let's just say that some bad shit went down. Really bad shit. Jack, he, uh, he, well, he kicked Jesse out of the club, but you can't take your colors with you. See, that, that's a problem. So, problem is Jesse had a mongrel's tat on his back, just like mine, you know? So, yeah, me and Boozer, Jersey Jim, we held him down while Jack uh, took a welding torch to, uh, to his back. Well, <laughs> I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it. I, I never told you because... Um, uh, because I knew that you would never be with someone who could do something like that. Right. I just thought you should know. Okay. I gotta go. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Deke, hey, when you get time, swing by the- God damn, they're Can't blowing up my phone, bro. They're blowing up my phone. Yeah, okay, I'll be by. Deacon out. They are blowing that shit up. Give me a minute to talk to the deceased. Holy shit. Second I stepped off that fucking flower, he's like, Hey, Deke, got some more work for you, because no one else can do it. Oh my god, is this where I think it is? It is. I vowed to never come back down here. Oh, Brian, you better have a good reason for me coming down here. Last time I came down here, I got stuck for an hour without gas. So up, what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust, but like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. Where did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a Class Four federal clearance level. Clearance level. Your wife bugged out with a recon unit east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. 
You're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse. Good shit, O'Brien. You know how much gas it'd save me if I could just call Tucker on the phone and be like, all right, so about that job, where do you want me to go? Easy money, easy hoard done. You boys want some of this? Check this shit out. I need to get closer. Someone's here. Yeah, you boys like that shit? You boys like that shit? smoked their camp. Well, you like to shoot a lot? I do too! I do too, pussy! Come here! Yeah, I can shoot a lot too, motherfucker. Oh my lord dizzle. Who needs help? We're going south. You know a way over the Tielson Pass. He told me once that I I'd... told you nothing. Go on. Oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done. After everything I've. What about what you've done, old man? Huh? Sherman's you camp. On. The things that you, you get out of here. You listen me, listen, me. listen to me. What if? You could take it all back, huh? What if you could fix it? The fact that I put Sarah on a chopper, I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved. Mike, that's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole? I don't know, but I gotta try. <sighs> All right. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass, you don't come back. All right, you promise me you don't come back. I got you. Don't touch me. And I'll only come back to kill Schizo. Holy shit. Loser, I, I... Uh -huh. Huh. Last winter. We were up on Farewell Ridge. We were watching the freaks. Thousands, thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was, every one of us, man, woman, and child, are now homeless. A bunch of goddamn refugees. Yeah. Will belongs to them now. We'll survive. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving. Isn't living. Something Jack 
used to say, doesn't matter when you hit the road where you're heading out to, but you damn well better know where you're coming home to. You know, we never talked about it while we still wore the colors all this time out in the freak show when shit like this didn't matter anymore. Yeah, yeah but I think. Last two Mongols on Earth, farewell originals. Uh, the biker boys, most badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. The, we were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got a new shotgun. We rode out of farewell. Without Sarah, without Jack, or anyone. I knew that we were leaving everything behind. Everything that mattered was gone. Said this. You're a nomad again, huh? Yep, I guess I am. Come on, Jack. Inside, let's go. She's out there. You'll find her. Her big Mike is taking you over the pass? Yep. It's a 16-cylinder and a V-pattern engine. Billions of people are dead, but somehow she made it. Hey, we made it, didn't we? If I give up now, if I don't... If I don't do this, well, then I'm just gonna end up like, uh... Like us, right? Like Iron Mike, like Boozer? What'd you call us, campers, yeah? You go, and you find your woman. You know where to find me. You know what? You know what I think, Deacon? I think that you're you're afraid to be here. You're afraid to be a part of something. We need you here, and that scares the hell out of you. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, me too. Miss Ricky. I'm gonna miss Ready? Boozer. Yeah. I'm and I'm gonna find ride. Schizo. Damn, ride faster, Grandpa. God damn, this guy's slow. I love the fact that me wanting to kill Schizo, he referred to as cold blood. It's like, bro, he literally gave me up to the, like, flesh eating fucking rippers. Come on, we can speed this shit up. Coming. God damn, bro. This is as far as I go. Keep following the trail. It'll take you down the mountain, on into the diamond-like valley. I wish you luck. Hope you're right about your old lady still being alive. She is. Well, maybe so. But you gotta ask yourself, Deke. What does it matter if everyone else is dead? Uh-oh. 
copyright music incoming. You never know what tomorrow may bring. I've idolized, I've memorized your face On you On you Even though I know you would tell me to If you're out there Oh shit. It's kicking off. A rager bear. Oh my god, he's got barbed wire on him. He's not moving. Bear? Are you okay? I feel like my first encounter with a rager bear, or whatever that is, shouldn't have went like that. He just got stuck. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what we would have done without oh, you, man. Oh, come on. Hey, okay, okay. all right, all right, all right. It's dead. It's cool. Man of the hour. Oh, God. I'm Russell. Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Rick. Hey, Rick. Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. Yes, sir. The Shoots County Militia. You're not from around here. Use his ammo if you got him. You'll be fine. Okay? Bro, these guys are corny. Let's go. Following you. These guys are corny, bro. I'm looking for some people and a woman that I rode with a year back or so. They would have come over from Silver Lake. They would have been at one of those Nero refugee camps, I think. Silver Lake? Jesus, man. Silver Lake's been gone a lot longer than that. Report. Captain, sir. Oh, my God. We did. Oh, my Fun's God. Bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? What was no, that? sir. Was that a bike? We, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with a body. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. Damn. And you are? Oh shit, he's Name's got the Deacon ring. St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um. Uh. I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting. Are well, you interested? I've been looking to settle down. Yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you. But the colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. As my ring. He took it from Sarah. He had to take it from Sarah because she wouldn't have given it to him. So that means that she's got to be here. Hey, uh, you don't look very militia to me. Nah, um, man, name's Wade. Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit. Deacon St. John? Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You wait. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man, you playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, <laughs> uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday, okay, yesterday. I've been, I've been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> Uh, I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. 
Good luck to you, dude. How did this guy survive for like Jesus, years? How, how did that guy survive? Jesus, that dude's fucked up. Getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. So you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Damn, my bike looks clean now. Hey, Corporal. The captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know Bro. this by now. Bro. Oh, yes, These sir. guys are losers. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh, Vasquez? How long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. Is it? Go on, get out of here. What are you doing? That ever work for you? Yelling at a wolf? <laughs> Depends. On what? On how hungry it is. Look out, BFX, if you're not hungry, it'll run. That's what I was saying early on in this playthrough. Yeah. Fuck off. That's bullshit. I was fucking five steps away. Let's go around. Slash and burn strategies to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them. It's just in this part of the state alone. You know, we gotta start somewhere. All right, where now? Tim. Well, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. You seem to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! On. What do you think? Oh, come on, boss, oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? I don't work for you, pussy. You, red arm band? you don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, I'm stopping this shit. Watch me work. It wasn't my cleanest work, I'll be honest. I've worked a lot cleaner. She did my job for me. Wait, whoa, 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 easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. <sighs> we brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You passed. Oh. You ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. So, you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here. Uh, a few summers back, me and my old lady, or 
my wife. We stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pic? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> My name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. In front of him with the fucking ring. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? No, it means, um... It... Right. I never learn. So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. What would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. Yeah, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that. Idiot. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in? Oh, well, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there. That's true, but we don't <laughs> live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhD is to be very sexy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet. Is this what you wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system. So this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that. Pot farm. Well, nowhere to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah. I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Did she have tattoos when we first met her? Or did she get tattoos because of us? So beautiful. Keep going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean, like, all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean, the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies... Oh, I see, you were kidding again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right! I do! You do not! Like, when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh-oh, -uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. We do need to talk about it. And we will but she turn around like that. She oh, turned around like Schizo turning around on me. <laughs> I want to show you something. Okay. What's she doing? What? This is why I brought you out here. <gasps> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <sighs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Him. Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name him. 
Okay, well the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done, I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one, the second one is that you never leave me. Done. Did you just break your biker ring on my finger? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with this little thing. It's just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. Morier Invictus hmm. means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me like a real ring, though, right? <laughs> not that this one's no, not absolutely, great. absolutely, because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. Right, it's your ring. Right. Something more simple, without phase. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's your room. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. Hello? Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, God bye. damn it. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. But come on. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't know. Why lie? It doesn't matter. Let's just see if he knows her. He has the ring. I mean, he either killed her or she's with him now. Those are the two options. Or she lost it. I mean, I guess that is an option too, but like, most likely for the story, she either killed him, or he either killed her, which probably is not it, or she's with him, which is very unfortunate. This place is a goddamn fortress. Come on, hurry your ass up! I'm going as fast as I can! Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? Colonel set up a work camp on the south side of the island. For those unfit to serve. Oh, that one dude's up there. And up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. Wait. Why are we standing up on a hanging book and platform? Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were He's looking for, out. you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. What? Not happening, bro. Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. The side shit shit's gonna get stolen. Come on. Cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hut! Holy, that's a magnum on his chest. God damn. That's what I'm looking for right there. Okay, shorty. At ease. Acting mighty fine. Tough there for being four Visitors foot eight. are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited. Recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Adkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. Right. The Almighty forgives Amen. this. Amen. But here, upon this woman's face, are the footprints of Satan. <laughs> Prison tattoo. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible. I mean, she is wearing a prison uniform, to be fair, actually. The Almighty 
down upon us all. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. You. Fuck you. Come oh. on, gorgeous. Oh, Let's goddamn go. redneck assholes. Get off of me. Swear <laughs> God. What about you? Uh, Taylor. Uh, wait. And um, no, sir. I uh never been to jail. Never killed anyone. Nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid was at, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... And how about you, son? Deacon St. John, mass murderer. Thousands. St. John. Too Deacon. many to count. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain. Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. Oh, no. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new Constitution of these United States? Against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. I don't so, know about the last part. do you swear? I swear. I don't, I don't agree with the last part. I don't do orders without question. I don't do that shit. That is specifically why I would not be able to join the army. I can't do the no or like the no questioning shit. Bring me many recruits these days. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? Ah, he's fit to serve. Dora bien. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions. Because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? I think that, uh, oh, here, try this on. Oh, we got a new hat. Whoa, now, shit. You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel, sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Feet. Okay. Sorry. But, yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show. Right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah there's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. You working on napalm? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> this dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. Wizard Island <clears throat> Witch. Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. The way he says that makes me uneasy. All right, what is this? Ma'am? Oh? I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? I mean, subtitles kind of gave it away, but... Active ingredients. Chlor... Chlor... Chloroform. And, uh... A... Turp... Turpin... Tur Get out. Shit. Get out! I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, 
This is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Kuri's unit. He's got some experience out on the ship. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, ethylatic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Stand at attention. Sarah, I don't. I... Dead. You're, you're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. Not right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I, I find you. You had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun. Was it and we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and I Farewell was overrun. They said that everybody was dead. I, didn't think that I never thought I would see you again. Seen. Hey, hey, listen. We can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come Please, on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I ain't coming here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Thought she'd be a bit happier here. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. And finally, that's going to do it for all the messed up content. Hopefully the next stuff goes better and smoother, but the rest of the game should be back to normal. I really appreciate you if you watch through this, because, yeah, it's, it's not too bad, I know, but it, it sucks. So, thank you so much.